because I've set my sights on hunting a quality Hungarian roebuck, we're suddenly knee deep in wild boar. The things are everywhere. Herds of pigs cross our path and some are almost jaywalking in front of us. Just typical. So let's try and ignore the pigs for a moment and concentrate on this rich and fertile land, where the deer grow big and the pollen counters through the roof. They might be wondering why I've got this quite heavy face mask on. Well, I get hay fever quite bad. And I discovered a little earlier on that I'm a bit allergic to the pollen in this grass. And it's everywhere. So this is the Outfox filter face mask. This has got the Eco Tarn uh, carbon filter inside. So not only does it stop the smell coming out of my breath, it also stops the pollen coming into my mouth. So no scaring the bugs away with sneezing this afternoon. In front of us, there's a nice mixture of open grasslands and crops, including vines, which the bucks will hopefully feel confident enough to feed in later. I bet the rich pickings of fresh shoots on these vines are far too tempting for the row as well. All the more important to keep the numbers under control. It's 5.30ish in the afternoon, probably a bit early to expect to see much movement, but there's plenty of evidence the boys are about on the ground and amongst the trees. So this is the damage that these roebuck are causing. When their antlers grow, they have velvet which supplies blood to the antlers during the growth phases. And then that starts to shed and it gets very itchy and annoying and they then scrape it off using these branches here. Once you do this to 20% of the trees here, you can imagine that the farmers aren't very happy. For this stalk, I'm using my faithful Zeiss Victory Davari FL 4 to 16 by 50 mounted on a very special rifle that won't be appearing in the UK until the autumn. This is the Ruger American rifle. Now it's not due to come to the UK until October this year, but when it does, I'm sure it's going to make a huge impression. For 600 quid, you get an incredible rifle. 22 inch hammer forged steel barrel, laminate stock, one piece bolt, four shot ABS plastic removable magazine. This is in 3006 and still takes four rounds. And integrated weaver bases. Now on top of this, I've got my favorite scope, which is Zeiss FL Davari 4 to 16 by 50, which I pretty much take everywhere with me. Ballistic turrets, reticle 60 illuminated reticle, probably with the best light transfer of any scope on the market, claiming up to 95%. Now some say 3006, is a little bit too big for Roebuck. I beg to differ. I'm using 185 grain Lapua Mega and these things rock. 3006, big enough to take down a pig, gentle enough to take down a Roebuck. Who says the bullet's too big? They're dead. To give us a better view of the surrounding area, we have a glass around from a high seat. These high seats are perfectly positioned. They give a phenomenal view of the entire valley below. Now this field's obviously got some crops planted in it, but all the way along there's a generous margin. But still there's nothing out there yet, so we'll move on. The bucks are letting the boar have all the limelight at the moment, so we decide to take the party to them and start heading into the parcels of woodland to see what we can see. It's a wise move as this lovely buck pops out of the undergrowth just 30 yards ahead of us. I take a kneeling shot and the buck runs, but I'm confident he's hit hard, and the signs are the shot was good. It was only roughly about 30 yards away, and as you can see from here, this is a very, very good lung shot. Plenty of white frothy blood there. So he's run, but he's not gonna be very far. 20 yards into cover, we find my handsome Hungarian buck. So, what a beautiful animal. Look at the size of the bases on there. Lovely purling on his antlers as well. This is a fantastic looking buck. Perfect double lung shot. Didn't know what hit him. He jumped up in the air and, and kind of ran back. I don't even think he knew he was hit. There was a phenomenal blood trail there. This Lapua really does its job. So you can never get enough roebuck hunting. There's lots of walking, lots of stalking, lots of glassing, and then all of a sudden they do something random like jump out straight in front of you. 
and this is a result. An absolutely stunning Hungarian roebuck. So Thomas, thank you once again for a phenomenal hunt. You're very welcome. And I'm looking forward to doing it all again tomorrow. Or maybe tonight. Or tonight, <laughs> okay.